Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. All right, guys. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. This is New Belgium's Hop Avenger IPA. And guys, uh, instead of putting a date on the bottom of it, they're giving us a Best Buy date. And this one has uh, Best Buy January 26th of 2020. That sucks. That sucks out loud, guys. Uh, I don't know why they had the machine that's dating the bottom of it with that silly ass Best Buy date so we don't know how many months of shop life they're giving it two three four six eight twelve uh, as far as I'm concerned if it's a 10 beer it's not going to get a 10 because they've got a Best Buy instead of a canned on date they have the ability to do that and they choose not to so I choose not to give them a better grade I don't give a damn if it's a 10 beer it will not get a 10 with a Best Buy date on it because I don't know what shop life they're giving it so if they want to give us a Best Buy date Put the candle date on there and, and put the best buy, best before, used by, drink by, whatever by date out underneath of it. So we'll know what uh, how old the beer is. But not knowing that, it won't get, it won't get, I don't care if it is a 10 beer, it will not get it from me. We're not going to do it. If you don't give me the ABV on the can or the bottle and the package on date, not a best buy, used before, whatever freaking buy date, you'll not get a 10 from me. That's just me. A lot of people don't feel that way, but I do. I want to know how old the beer is when I buy it. And I did buy a six pack of this because I hadn't reviewed it before, but I probably won't buy any more. So it is what it is. These big breweries in New Belgium is damn sure big enough to do that. And I buy the Voodoo Ranger all the time and it has the same date on it, but I can't find anything else that's that tasty around here. Uh, it's sad. It is sad, guys. Uh, but picking this up in October and it's got a January Best Buy, I'm considering it's pretty fresh, but I want to know that. Uh, so, uh, as long as I can buy it and it's still got two, three months left, that, that tells me it's fairly fresh, but still not knowing what shop life they're giving it. You're on your own there, guys. You don't know when it, put in, it was put in the package. So, I can fuss and fuss and fuss, but a lot of these breweries don't give a rat's ass. They want to sell beer and they don't give a damn what anybody says. You know, their bottom line is how much money they can stuff in their pockets. So, it is what it is. I wish I had more options. I'm so blessed and lucky that I have subscribers that send me beers that blow this kind of stuff out of the water. And they do. So, it is what it is around here. Southwest Virginia distribution sucks because the people that are in charge of that want to sell Budweiser, Miller, Coors, and all the rest of that horse piss instead of selling these people's beers yeah, or any anybody else's beers. So uh, it's just the world we live in and it's the area that I live in. So it is what it is. Uh, let's jump over to Untapped to see if they have additional information. 7.7%, 45 IBUs, experimental IPA from New Belgium, pineapple, Pineapple and Chinook hops. I've never heard of a pineapple hop. <laughs> so I don't know where, that, where that's coming from. Never heard of a pineapple hop. I've heard of pineapple being part of a hop, but not a hop called a pineapple. A pineapple hop? I don't think so. As, as, as I said, I don't think so, Tim. Uh, it's not, as far as I know, I, I may be wrong, but I've never heard of a a name of a, a hop called pineapple hop. So, ah, uh, nee, nah, nee. What are y'all smoking? Must be some good shit. That's all I can say. Anyway, let's get on with the beer. A little 12 ounce can on this one. It is 7.7%. That was the reason I bought it. If it had been a 6.7 or a 5.7, I 
I don't buy beers that are less than 6% guys. And basically, I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't review beers anymore that are less than 5%. So if you're going to send me a session beer in, in the 4% or lower range, or 5% or lower range, I'm probably not going to review it. I'm just going to give it to the other half. I apologize for that. So don't send me any beers that are less than 5%. I'm not going to review them. I'll just give them to her and she can drink them. I'm only limited to two or three beers a day. I'm not going to waste my time or my uh, beers on a four point whatever percent. I'm not going to do it. And I appreciate you sending them to me, but just be aware if you send me a, a beer that's 4.2, 4.5, 4.8%, I'm not going to review it. It's the way it is. I hate to be that way, but I'm an old man and I'm like I said, I, I'm going to only have two or three a day. And I'm not going to waste my time drinking a 4.2 or 5 or 8% beer. I don't session beers. I don't buy those beers. So don't send them to me. I hate to be that way and that rude, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, back to the beer. Uh, I will talk to all I want to talk as far as that goes. Let's get it into the glass and see what we have here, guys. I'm going to pour this fairly aggressive. And see what we get. Before my heart attack, I reviewed everything, guys, because I wasn't limited. Uh, I could drink two, three, four, five if I wanted to do that. Most of the time, I didn't. About a finger and a quarter of head. Now, I can't do that. So, very cloudy. A lot of chunkiness uh, floating around in it. It does look like an unfiltered beer, but there are a lot of floaties in the beer, guys. Nice amber color. Good looking beer to the nose we go. Nice citrusy notes, hence the pineapple. Pine. A little bit of orange. And might be a little bit of tropical fruit notes, but not a lot. Smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Tasty beer, not off the chain, not outstanding, not world class, decent. I do like the cloudiness of it. It looks like an unfiltered beer. Definitely not into the New England style as far as I'm concerned. Decent beer, decent beer. I may purchase this beer again. Uh, even though I hate them best by dates, but if I can get it and I still have two to three months before the, the end of the best by date, I consider that probably probably fresh, but I don't think they're giving it more than a four month. Um, hopefully it's just a three month shelf life. So I don't know. I don't have that information. And you should be able to, they used to put a code on it that tells you what day of the year they bottled it. But now they've gone to the best by date, so you don't have a clue. So uh, they're hiding that even more so. Well, by doing it like they're doing now and they have a machine that can do it and they choose not to so as far as I'm concerned they do make good beers but the management wants to sell more of those beers that's why they put those best buy dates on there instead of a packaged on date so they know if you pick it up and it's, at, it's already three months old you may not buy it or older because uh, I wouldn't uh, so if they hide that by putting a best Four date, you don't know if it's two, three, four, six, eight, twelve months. They're giving a shelf life too. So let me sip on this and we'll come back and give it a grade, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, the beer is gone. I forgot to turn the damn microphone on. Imagine that. An old man can't remember to do shit. Anyway, beer is a decent beer. Uh, not much at the end of the beer that, that wasn't at the first of the beer. Uh, they choose to put a best before or best by date on it instead of a uh, canned on date. Uh, that's my biggest problem with uh, New Belgium beers. That's what they are doing. Uh, so they have the ability to, to put that on there and they choose not to. Guys, in my opinion, it's a okay beer. It's a decent beer. It's not an A beer to me because of the way they're dating their stuff. Uh, but it still had like three months uh, 
before the end of their best buy, best before, whatever date that they're putting on there. Uh, when I picked it up, so I figured, eh, it's probably going to be as fresh as I'm going to be able to get it. So I wanted to pick it up and review it for you guys. Uh, it is a tasty beer, but you don't know what shop like these people are giving their beers, whether it's two, three, six, eight, twelve, whatever months. If they want to put the best buy date on there, best before date on there, put the can on date and then put that date after it. Uh, this is when we put it in a can. This is when we want you to have it by. But they don't do that because they want to sell more beers. That's the whole idea. Stuff their pockets with money. But, yeah, okay, beer. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's an 8 beer and a 7 can. That's what I'm going to give it. Uh, 88 for me. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, uh, they say 88. We're in agreement there. And over to Untapped, uh, they have it at 3.75, which is barely just right in their B-plus numbers. 3.74 would, would not be B plus. Uh, so uh, me and Beer Advocates given a better grade than Untapped. So well made beer. Alcohol is well hidden. Uh, decent beer. Decent beer. But these guys choose not to give us a canned on date or bottled on date or depending on what you're picking up. And I choose not to give them a better grade because of that. And they could probably care less what I say or what I think, but that's just me. That's my OCD. Give me, tell me when it was put in the can. If you want to give me additional information, that's fine. But if you choose not to, I choose not to too. We're both in agreement. Y'all choose not to, and I choose not to. So, we're in agreement. So, anyway, if you've had the Voodoo Ranger Hop Avenger IPA, this is the 2019 edition, let me know what you think. And I apologize for not doing the final chug on camera, but I forgot to turn the damn microphone on. Imagine that. Shit happens when you're old and old. <laughs> so, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.